Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine and your preparation for the upcoming prelims is going on really well and fast tracked and you are quickly revising the topics. So I'm bringing one of the important topics for uh, prelims uh, which is on Buddhism. I had earlier started the series on Buddhism where uh, I had discussed some important events in the life of uh, Lord Buddha and today I'll be discussing about the importance of symbols in buddhism why symbols are important as you must be knowing that symbols they occupy a special place in buddhism and they are uh, important to convey the important principles and tenets or you can say the teachings of lord buddha so the symbols they were used in hinayana buddhism as you can see chakra is an important symbol in buddhism and uh, near the chakra you can see two deer so again important animal symbols of buddhism which is one is deer second you can see here is lion and third is horse so number of symbols are used in buddhism to convey different meanings and teachings of the religion and it is easier for you know the layman and the people to understand buddhism has numerous teachings and symbols that has that has helped people to understand and learn the this religion these symbols have represented certain aspects of lord buddha and conveyed the core principles of buddhism i have already said this and uh, all the lord buddha he lived in the 6th century bc but according to tradition the statues of buddha and buddha symbols they did not appear in india until around 3rd century bc so these symbols of buddhism appeared first in india why because india is the birthplace of buddhism and then began to spread across southeast asia and the world so you must be knowing that buddhism was born in india and then it spread to different parts of the world from india like sri lanka and southeast asian countries and in the north in china and uh, nepal and different countries as buddhism spread to other countries the different buddhist traditions transmitted their teachings through the use of various symbols so when the buddhism it spread to different different countries new schools of buddhism were formed like uh, there is uh, one important school of buddhism which is known by the name tibetan buddhism it also has some different different you know uh, traditions or sects okay so they taught to the people with the help of the symbols these symbols are believed to be the key to the survival of buddhism that's true and each symbol is unique and conveys a different message so let's see what different symbols convey and what are their importance in buddhism so first of all a very important symbol in buddhism is lotus okay so lotus is the symbol of buddha's awakening and reminder to all the living beings that all of them have the same potential to attain enlightenment so lotus is a reminder to all the people and all the followers that they too can attain enlightenment and become buddha so as you know lotus is important why because it uh, grows it's a beautiful flower and it grows in the muddy waters and still it retains its beauty so the lotus grows out of mud and rises to the water surface to bloom in beauty and purity similarly human being can develop the virtues of buddha and rise above desire and attachment so similarly we can control our mind and we can come out of ignorance and become enlightened one this is important in different forms like close lotus bud so when the uh, lotus bud it is shown and it is closed it represents beginning of the journey or the time before enlightenment and partly open lotus flower represents walking the path that someone has taken this journey towards the enlightenment and full bloom lotus flower signifies the end of the journey that means 
the end has reached which is the enlightenment and there is one important story also that i had discussed in the previous video in buddhism is that lord buddha's mother or you can say siddharth mother queen mahamaya she dreamt of an elephant carrying a white lotus in its trunk and descending into her womb so she saw uh, an elephant who is descending into her womb before uh, siddharth was born so and he was carrying a white lotus so lotus is important elephant is important in buddhism now the use of animal symbols is an important part of buddhism that's true number of animals are you know important in buddhism and each conveys some or the other meaning it stresses upon the idea that everything that is alive possesses an inherent virtue power and wisdom the meaning of animal symbols are related to specific characteristics of animal so each animal has a specific char characteristic and that is the meaning it signifies these also show buddhism relation with nature so they throw light on an important aspect is that buddhism it cares for nature it cares for animals and buddhism believes that animals should be treated with care and respect you must be knowing that when buddhism was born one of the primary reason of its birth was that in hinduism the animal sacrifices were being promoted and it was hurting the economy so an important teaching of buddhism was ahimsa which means non violence so it it did away with the animal sacrifices and that is why it attracted lot of people because animal sacrifices in hinduism uh, for yajnas it was uh, hurting the rural economy so if we talk about the animal symbols let's talk about horse so horse is associated with great renunciation of siddharth so what is great renunciation it is an important event of siddharth's life when he left his palace you can say he left his palace and his wife and son and that event is known as great renunciation so he moved out of the palace with his charioteer and the horse kantak main qualities of the horse are loyalty and swiftness as shown by his horse kantak so kantak was very loyal he was swift and there is a story that when siddharth left kantak also so he died in grief because he had to uh, you know part part away from siddharth siddharth's horse helped him escape the palace and begin his spiritual quest so another important animal symbol in buddhism is lion lion has been the symbol of royalty strength and bravery since time immemorial so these are the qualities of lion the strength and bravery and it has always been associated with royalty so you must be knowing uh, you must have studied um, ancient india so royal has been the emblem of many dynasties in india also like the pallavas and outside also like the akkemenid empire okay so lion has always been the symbol of royalty strength and bravery therefore lion symbolizes the royal origins of buddha shakyamuni so it tells us about the origins of siddharth or lord buddha that he came from a royal household and uh, the tribe was the shakya tribe and therefore he was also called shakya muni as well as his courage in challenging injustice so, and alleviating human suffering so, therefore lord buddha is referred to as the lion of shakyas an acknowledgement of the power of his teachings and to add to it Uh, our national emblem it comprises of four lions standing back to back so it has been taken from a very well known pillar at sarnath uh, which was you know built on the orders of king ashoka so in that pillar also the four lions are shown 
they are standing back to back and they are roaring so that means in four direction the dhamma or the teachings of lord buddha are being propagated by the roaring lions so a portion of that pillar forms the part of our national emblem so its important animal is elephant and i have already told you a story associated with buddha's birth that his mother queen mahamaya she dreamt of a white elephant who was holding uh, a lotus in his trunk and he was descending in the womb of the queen before the birth of uh, lord buddha or you can say siddharth before enlightenment in buddhism elephant symbolizes mental strength on the path towards enlightenment throughout the three pitakas so three pitakas you know these are the important buddhist books the buddha and other enlightened people are often compared with elephant so in these buddhist books three pitakas are sutta pitaka vinaya pitaka and abhidham pitaka so three important books in buddhism buddhas and other enlightened people they are compared with elephants buddha had a special fondness so he liked the elephants and he seems to have been impressed by their intelligence their mindfulness and their deliberative behavior at the beginning of one's practice when one is practicing and trying to attain enlightenment gray elephant symbolizes the uncontrolled mind that can run wild at any moment so when one starts the practice one's mind is that of a gray elephant which can run amok it can run in any in any direction it is uncontrolled mind and white elephant signifies that after practicing dharma or dhamma and taming one's mind controlling one's mind the mind can be brought under control so symbol or the next important animal symbol is deer so this is a story of buddha's first sermon that he gave at sarnath so at sarnath this event is known as dharma chakra parivartan and buddha gave his first sermon in the deer park at sarnath to his five companions so it is said that while he was giving this sermon deer two deer were also sitting and they were listening to this sermon so in buddhism deer symbolize peace harmony longevity their presence represents the purity of a sacred place bereft of fear so it was in the deer park sarnath that buddha gave his first teaching or his first sermon as i have already told you the buddha is often shown sitting on the dais with two deer kneeling facing each other also many monasteries feature the dharma wheel with two deer sitting on each side as shown here gazing steadily at the wheel with great joy so this is the symbol which is often portrayed in many monasteries the next important animal symbol is peacock in buddhism they symbolize wisdom peacocks are said to have the ability of eating poisonous snakes without being affected by them therefore peacocks they can transform poison into nectar so they can change the poison into amrit or nectar and they are synonymous with the great bodhisattvas so bodhisattva as a concept it came in mahayana buddhism it was not there in the hinayan buddhism and bodhisattva means they they are those who are on their path of enlightenment but they delay their enlightenment so that they can help others to attain enlightenment so they are the compassionate people who help others to attain enlightenment so these were the bodhisattvas and peacocks are often synonymous with bodhisattvas in buddhism so a bodhisattva can transform the poisonous mind of ignorance desire and hatred 
into the thought of enlightenment, generosity, and compassion, which opens colorfully like the peacock's tail. So the bodhisattvas, they can change an ignorant mind into one filled with these qualities like compassion, generosity, and the enlightenment. And then it can, the mind which has such positive qualities, it opens like a peacock state. And the next important symbol in Buddhism is that of Bodhi tree, which stand for Nirvana or enlightenment. Siddharth, he attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Gaya, Bihar. And after that, he came to be known as Buddha or the enlightened one. So, Bodhi in Sanskrit means awakening or enlightenment of Buddha. The Buddha achieved awakening or enlightenment under the shelter of sacred fig tree or you can say the people tree known as the Bodhi tree. The heart-shaped leaf is a symbol of potential that lies within each of us to awaken and achieve enlightenment. The tree still stands in Bodh Gaya, where Buddha was awakened as a descendant of one under which Buddha sat centuries ago. Dharma Chakra is another important symbol in Buddhism. It signifies Buddha's first sermon at the deer park at Sarnath. And this event, as I've already told you, is known as Dharma Chakra Parivartan with the first sermon of Lord Buddha where at Sarnath near Varanasi in UP. The Buddha is said to have set the Dharma wheel in motion when he gave his first teaching on the four noble truths. So he taught the four noble truths for the first time. These truths are like the first one is that the world is full of sorrow. The cause of sorrow is desire. These desires can be extinguished. And the fourth noble truth is, if you want to extinguish these desires, you need to follow the eightfold path. In Buddhist art, the deer flanking the Dharma wheel signify the deer in the park listening to the Buddha's teaching. So, during his first sermon, he gave in the deer park and deers were also listening to that teaching. This shows Buddha's compassion for animals as well as for humans. And a wheel can be, can be shown with different number of spokes, like four spokes or eight spokes or 12 spokes or 24 spokes. So the wheel can have four spokes. Four means four noble truth. It can have eight spokes. That means eight fold path. Okay, it can have 12 spokes and 24 spokes. So these signify how to liberate oneself from the life, from the cycle of life and death. Next important symbol is Buddha Pad or the footprints of Lord Buddha. The footprints of Buddha are venerated or respected in all Buddhist countries. These highly schematized footprints generally show all the toes to be of equal length. As you can see, all the toes, all the fingers are of equal length and are incised in stone. So these are made in stone. They often bear distinguishing marks like chakra or dharma wheel as shown here. These imprints are specially respected or venerated in countries like Sri Lanka and Thailand. Also, the Buddha Pad image can be found on Tibetan Thangkas. So, Thangkas are the Tibetan paintings which are made in India also in the monasteries, in Tibetan monasteries, in Sikkim. And why this is important, uh, the footprints. So, after, according to legend, after Lord Buddha, he attained enlightenment. So, the first step he took, after he took the first step, his footprints got imprinted on the stone after he attained enlightenment. And... Uh, 
they signify they signify the presence of lord buddha on earth so it tells us that lord buddha was once present on earth and he left for all of us a spiritual path to be followed so the his followers and others they should follow the spiritual path which lord buddha has taken